Probably so. <laughs> hey, welcome to DSI Live. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I'm super excited to be welcoming um, Laura Jamison and Roy Shelburne, who are with the Academy of Dental Management Consultants. And uh, thank you for tuning in. And as you uh, join us, please uh, say hello down in the comments. Let us know you're here. And I'm going to be keeping an eye over here, make sure we're good on our Facebook Live feed. And I'm not seeing it yet, so we'll keep an eye on that. But um, Academy of Dental Management Consultants, or ADMC, as so many of us refer to the Academy, um, I, I'm really excited to share this with Dental Speaker Institute group. Uh, as I know, our focus is speaking, but so many speakers also consult. They just do dovetail really nicely. And... I've often thought that speaking is really more of a marketing activity for most people to be able to, you know, be seen as a thought leader and then ultimately bring in consulting. So I think we're going to have quite a few number of people in our group that would be interested in learning more about ADMC. Um, I want to just start by sharing my um, feelings about the organization. It feels to me like a group of colleagues that understand um, the same passions and commitments and um, understand the climate of the dental profession. And I have found it to be just a wonderful group to be uh, associated with. So with that said, I would love to get started. Um, and if we could start with Laura and Roy, if you could each take a turn to give us kind of the nutshell version of um, what is it that brought you to be involved with the Academy of Dental Management Consultants? Um, what was it in your career that drew you here? It, Take it away, Laura. Okay, I'd be happy to start. Thanks, Vanessa, and thanks so much for inviting us. Of uh, one, one of the things to uh, begin with is that I, I originally began in this business working for a company called Pride Institute. And while I was working with the Pride Institute, I had some wonderful colleagues, uh, Linda Valencia, Jody Catalanello, Debbie Castagna, Virginia Moore, Belinda Bryant, um, and, and, and so many others that, um, when I left the Pride Institute and started my own business in 92, Jameson Consulting survived for 25 years. It was 10 years after I started my own business that I realized I kind of missed having this, uh, this group of colleagues that you know shared best practices and supported one another. So when um, I first of all was invited, I didn't join quite right away, Linda Valencia would tell you. And then Linda uh, Harvey came along about 10 years later and said, why aren't you a member of this group? And so um, I, I, I have to say, you know, looking back, 2020 is hindsight. I wish I had started 10 years uh, earlier. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk more about why, the, the benefits of the organization in just a moment. But that's great. That's a great intro. Tell us, Roy, what brought you to ADMC? Huh. Uh, well, first, Vanessa, thanks for having me. I appreciate your, uh, your having us on today and being able to share our experiences and about ADMC. Uh, the Academy is uh, one of those things, tools in my toolbox that help me do what I do best. I am a member because of two individuals. Linda Miles told me I had to be, and if Linda tells you you have to do something, <laughs> you have to do something. And the other is Linda Harvey, who actually sponsored me into the organization. And um, Linda was one of the first people who contacted me uh, once I began the speaking, writing, consulting career and had me at one of her events and said, you need to be a member. So it's it's been a amazing experience. I joined in, I think it was 2010. So it'll be nine years this year. And I continue to learn and to grow as a result of being a member of the organization. Some of my best friends in the dental consulting world are in the Academy of Dental Management Consultants. So we're, we're a family who helped to learn and to grow. And um, it, it reminds me a little bit of the, the old school houses on the prairie. We all kind of get together and one of us may have an expertise in one way or another one have an expertise in another area. And we just pull each other forward by sharing what we know and uh, helping one another when there's an Availability to do that. It's just a great organization. Oh, I agree with you. And um, and that's a really great introduction as well. And, you know, it, you guys have both led me into the next question, which is um, 
uh, to tell me why do you feel it's important? And I, I heard a little bit there with uh, Roy uh, talking about how many colleagues and friends, you know, our, our colleagues that become friends um, over the years. But I think that speaking and consulting can be kind of isolating. And for me, that's one reason that it's an important uh, tribe to belong to. Mm -hmm. But uh, to take it away, should we go back to you, Laura? Like, why, why do you feel that um, for the speakers and consultants out there, why would it be important for them to be a member of this group? Uh, well, and I, I will go back to Roy's uh, example of, you know, just knowing that different individuals have uh, individual sets of skills. I, I tell even my clients today, um, I may not have the answer, but I know someone who does. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it gives us a whole lot more credibility when they feel like we're connected to other experts in so many different um, scientific, financial, um, billing, I mean, in coding. I mean, there's so many uh, consultants in ADMC that specialize in such specific things that, and, and to be frank, um, they've been wonderful and generous in sharing. Anytime I've asked a question, I've gotten, you know, multiple answers. And, you know, when you see the multiple answers come to a common denominator, then you feel like you can go to your client and say, here's what I found out. So that gives you just that much more cred, I think. I love that. And I want to just insert here, Roy, before you answer why you feel it's important for those of you who are watching, if you're a member of ADMC, holla, give us a holla out there in our holla. comments. We, we love that you're here. So give us a holla and give us a hashtag ADMC leaders. And Roy, tell us why do you feel it's important? Well, I came to consulting a very different route than Laura did. Laura had a background with a, a consultant group. Um, I knew nothing about consulting at all. I had a passion to share my story and my expertise. I wanted to make sure that other people had the tools they needed to, but I had no idea how to be able to share that. So I think that's important for us to, to, to identify as well. The organization is for all levels. You need to have a certain amount of experience, but uh, you don't know what you don't know until you get started. So the organization is helpful regardless of your level. You yeah. can be very new or you can be seasoned and you will find value in both. It has literally given me a step-by-step -step process to establish my consulting business and help me be successful at it. And like I, like as Laura said, if you run into a, a question or a situation that you're kind of at a loss, you can ask a colleague or friend. There's so many of us that one of one of us that will have experienced the same same thing, and have dealt with it. And um, to be able to get that information just shortcuts that learning process, and it helps us to to stay fine tuned and moving forward. Hmm. I love that. So what I hear you guys saying is there's there's education at the meetings. There's education throughout the year. But additionally, we lean on colleagues and, and uh, masterminds come from this, collaborations come from being a member. I mean, there's just multiple levels of benefit that will help us as consultants um, grow our businesses, but um, also grow our influence and grow our network. Would that be a good summary? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would agree with that. Well, um, we oh, go add more, yeah. Laura. So, no, no, I was just going to suggest that, um, you know, I, I'm of a certain age and to know that I'm still growing, you know, I'm still learning new things. Um, to be able to to lean on colleagues that have had my experience, but also learn from people who are younger than I am. Yeah. Uh, people who are entering the dental field at this point in juncture, because 30 years ago, I, I really believe dentistry was in a totally different place. So it just, it's really nice to have both, to have a mix of age groups and again, just specialties and uh, areas of expertise or knowledge uh, that perhaps I just didn't come up with. I didn't, uh, I didn't grow up with, if you will. Oh, I'd love to um, piggyback on that. I've just put up the website ADMC, Academy of Dental Management Consultants, admc.net. 
www.ncpsa.net. And um, I encourage our listeners to visit the site and just take a look at the membership section. If when you pop open, find a member, there's going to be a ton of headshots and you'll see exactly what Laura's talking about. We're diversified. It's uh, not all women. We're men and women. We're practice management consultants. We're clinical consultants. It's a wide mix of all different ages, just very diversified. And I think that does really add to the value. Mm. Yes. Looks like the ADMC website that Vanessa helped create. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, I think beautifully, beautifully profiles our mission. It beautifully profiles how easy it is to find a consultant, whether you're looking in a geographic area or for a specific set of skills. Um, you know, so I really, uh, I really believe that in these next couple of years, we're going to be sure to bring a membership benefit of ADMC will be that dentists will know who ADMC is. Yes, and the value and the quality of the um, the, the, the members, I should um, maybe point out here too, the members are vetted. Um, it looks like we lost Roy, I'm sure he'll be right back, but um, uh, there, there's a there's a vetting process to be able to come in as mm -hmm. a member, and I think that really speaks to the quality of the consulting as well. Um, and one thing I'd like to uh, piggyback on the earlier uh, conversation as well as to comment um, that I think one of the let me bring here we've got Roy. We'll bring you back in here, Roy. Um, had a little technical difficulties, but that's all right, right? This is Web 2.0. <laughs> all right, Roy, can you hear us? I can. Okay, awesome. Thank you for coming back. Oh. So um, one thing I was just going to add that that is it, it, not that it's a secret. It's just that people wouldn't necessarily know. And one of the, my favorite benefits of ADMC as a member is that we have a, a private group just for members on Facebook. So we have a public Facebook page, but there's also a super active um, member only page. And that's a huge benefit. Um, and I, I believe that it's pretty much every day, um, sometimes multiple times a day, we will have members that are asking for help around something, you know, do you have this certain form? Or have you heard of this? Or did you see that? And I, I love the uh, camaraderie and the, and the sharing that just naturally takes place. There's a very much a, a feeling of um, there's, there's not a feeling of competition. It's very much a feeling of sharing. Have you guys witnessed that as well? Absolutely. Um, you know, it's it's one of those instances where together we all grow forward or move forward and we challenge one another to become better and to do what we do more effectively and efficiently, that we have um, better tools to be able to share with our clients. And, you know, something that we didn't discuss here is that at our meeting, we have a, a special opportunity to get to know the vendors, the suppliers of of uh, platforms and equipment and um, all kinds of extra added value that we can bring to our practices by saying, yes, this is a new, new technology that I think you need to look at. It's going to solve this, this, and this challenge that you're having. And that yeah. gives us an opportunity to stay very current that way as well. And it's, it's, it's interesting to see the age range as well. You know, sometimes, well, I know I I don't necessarily think like a millennial, but I need to know how they think because more and more of the uh, the dentists and their teams are millennials. So to be able to learn that way from that diversified group is is uh, such a great benefit. Oh, you know, to be definitely. able to have, have people that you ask and go, you know, I have this office. It's got a millennial, millennial doctor and staff. So how should I go about, how should I approach, how do they think differently and how can I better address their needs? Mm -hmm. And there again, you have that to be able to depend on as well. Oh, awesome. And that's such a great point. Now, I do want to talk more about our annual session. Um, I'd like to come back to that in a moment. Um, for, first, if, if we can, I'd like to ask you, you guys from your own personal experience as consultants, um, is there something that you wish you would have known when you started out consulting that you know now that you would share with our group? <laughs> something you wish you would have known. And whoever uh, thinks of one first, pipe in. Like um, I said, I, I come at it a little differently than Laura. I didn't know anything. So I, you know, I, 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 I needed to know everything. And it was actually a short track from where I was and where I am today. And I'm far from being 
where I want to be. And that's the reason why I think staying connected and being educated and staying current is so important to you. You know, you may be on the right track, but if you're not moving forward, the train's going to run over you. Mm. And I think it's important. <laughs> it's like important that. That, that you make sure that you're moving forward on that track that you're supposed to be on. And this helps you do that. It fuels your fire. It gives you a uh, sounding board and it gives you, um, it, it's exciting when I'm with my friends, when I'm uh, uh, at meetings and, and able to reach out and talk to them on the phone, or if we're at a particular dental meeting, to be able to, you know, have dinner with them. It, it just gives you a family away from home. So it's important that way for me too. God, yeah, I would agree. That's, that is a huge benefit. Um, and when I started consulting, I happened to have attended the Florida Dental Meeting and uh, Jim and Naomi Rohde were the speakers. So that goes back to how, yeah, again, of a certain age I am. Um, and I thought, you know, I could, I could do that. Mm -hmm. What I didn't know at that time is, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm really an introvert. I'm a homebody. Um, the set of skills that needed to be developed in order to go into an office where you know no one in which they see a consultant as a threat yeah. um, was something that, de that demanded I learn uh, uh, an amount of, of uh, a, a certain amount of skills. Um, and I, I tell um, even my younger colleagues, when I started my own business after leaving the Pride Institute, I spent 10 years writing material, but I spent 15 years after that learning how to deliver the material. Yeah. So at this point in time, it looks easy, but I'm going to tell you, it was very painful. When I started. <laughs> so you're recommending training, like that's a job um, I would like to learn how to. Way to encourage everybody, Ms. Laura. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, well, we can, right, but there's lots of different ways to learn. And so I think this, this speaks highly to, like, there are a lot of different resources out there to help you with both speaking and consulting. Um, Roy, I know you're just back from National Speakers Association, which is a, a great organization to help people with the speaking side. And there's certainly places to go for training skills, both in dental and outside. And I think what you're saying is, you know, there's, way, there's ways to kind of shorten that learning curve so you don't have to, you know, have so as many skin knees and learning the hard way. So Dental yeah, School Institute was something not available uh, 25 years ago. <laughs> um, and, you know, there are organizations now that are available that had they been available at times when I really wanted to develop those skills, oh my gosh, how great that would have been and how much shorter the learning curve might have been. Um, but now, you know, between ADMC and other organizations, um, you know, investing in yourself there, there are times when you're a consultant and you question, you know, am I cut out for this? Can I live with the ups and downs, the peaks and valleys? Um, that the one thing I kept coming back to, so I was in business for 25 years on my own. Uh, I kept coming back to what is the best investment you can make? It was in me. It was in me. Totally. And so that's why, you know, uh, quality organizations like ADMC are here for you. Um, to make sure that you continue to grow or challenge, be encouraged, be supported. Wonderful. I love that. And I want to encourage those who are tuning in with us. A reminder, if you are an ADMC member, to be sure and put in the comments. Um, I think we were saying holla. <laughs> <laughs> holla if you are an ADMC member. But we're also using uh, ADMC leaders, hashtag ADMC leaders in there. And I would also encourage you, um, for you who are listening, and if you have had specialty training around your consulting skills, um, whether it's ADMC or any of the other, um, you know, private workshops, both in or out, out of the um, industry, share with us, if you would, share with us a website or the name of the program, share with your colleagues where you've gone to get that additional training. I think that'd be really helpful. Yeah, that will. So tell us more, guys, now about your annual session. I'm going to put the, the information up here. So it's going to be... Um, September 3rd and 4th, we've got it here at the bottom of the screen um, in San Francisco, which of course is just prior to ADA. Many of our colleagues will be there for ADA. So uh, t tell us what, what, what do we um, expect if we've never been to an ADMC meeting? Why would we go and what would we expect? Roy, do you want to lead yeah. us? Yeah, 
No, happy to. We are going to have several people who are presenting, both from outside ADMC and inside ADMC. Um, really excited, as, as we mentioned before, I was at the NSA meeting, the National Speakers Association meeting. And by the way, Laura, um, Jim and Naomi were there. Aww, so I got, yeah. I got to talk with them for a while. They're doing very well. You um, both go, aww. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there were several of our ADMC members that were there as well. I got to be able to rub elbows and had a great time with them while we were there as well. Awesome. But um, I was excited. They did uh, a spoof on the old uh, starfish story that's been told over and over for years. And they asked some of the membership to... Um, develop their own take humorously on that story. And it came from all different directions and all different ways. But our, our keynoter first thing on Tuesday was actually one of those. His name is Andrew Tarvin, Drew Tarvin. He is a um, humorist, a comedian, and he will be teaching us, well, lecturing first to give us some idea about um, humor. And it, the old saying is, if you want to uh, make the money, you have to be funny. So <laughs> it, it, they uh, they shared some statistics regarding the the longevity of a contract with a particular group. The more humorous you are, those longer those contracts are because they enjoy being with people that laugh and have fun. So uh, the beginning will be a lecture format, and then later on in the day, we're actually going to do a workshop. Think about what we do and how we do it to see if we can't find areas in there to interject humor and to make it so that it's funny, make us more effective because people um, listen better, they connect more, and they remember more when they connect a uh, emotion with that experience. And humor is one of those that are very strong to be able to do that. Um, we're going to have some time with our sponsoring partners, as I did mention, that it's important for us to understand the, the tools that we have in the market to be able to recommend to our our, uh, our clients, um, we're going to have uh, our own um, own membership. We have several people who are willing. We're ta calling it three minutes from your heart from me to thee, uh, sharing uh, something that they had implemented in the past year or two years in their business that had made uh, an exponential benefit to them. It's going to be short, and they're just going to be a very quick outline, but their contact information is going to be behind them, and we talked about collaboration. They're going to be willing to mentor people who would like to be able to implement or learn more about that thing that they've implemented in, in their business the year before. Cool. Um, and the end of the day, we're going to have a, an accountant, and sh she is actually the CFO for um, Deborah and Ross Nash. So she's very familiar with dentistry, and she's going to be talking about how to um, how to run your business on a shoestring, mm -hmm. to do it most effective and efficiently, how to save money and be more effective in what we do. So that's our first day. It's limited to our membership, so um, you would have to be a current active member to be a participant in that day. That's Can I just day. jump in here then, oh, Roy? So what I hear you saying is on that first day, for so anyone who's already a member who hasn't signed up should mm -hmm. get that done right away. Absolutely. Or if they're considering becoming a member, they're going to want to do that right away so that they can, when they attend the meeting, they can go to both days. Otherwise, it's only the second day. Is that, is that right? That's correct. Well, and in addition, I'd like to suggest that if at this point they aren't considering membership but want to attend as a guest, half of the t the uh, membership fee is the fee for a guest. So you would miss that first day. Um, um, and so, I, you know, if you're thinking, go all in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It would be to your benefit to do that, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, want to go on with the second day? Sure, please. Okay, cool. So we're going to start with Uchi Uduatu. If you know Uchi, he is uh, an amazing speaker, the energy will be unbelievable. He's just a great guy. He, I, I, I've never listened to him that I, I've ever left without a big smile on my face. Yeah. And a motivation to be healthier and to uh, take care of myself more. Um, then we'll spend some more time with our uh, sponsoring partners, learning more about them. We're going to have a, um, 
a scavenger hunt that's going to be kind of fun. I'm not going to go deep into that, but there's going to be a contest. Not that anybody in this group would be very competitive or not. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> but there will be a contest, and it's going to be it's it'll be different, and it's going to be kind of fun. So I, I look forward to seeing us get into that. Um, it, it's going to be an added um, c kind of fun thing to do while we're there. Yeah. Um, then uh, a couple of our members, Debbie Carr and Linda Harvey, are going to be sharing about um, HIPAA and OSHA as it relates to us in the consulting business. Sometimes mm -hmm. we don't realize there are things that we need to be aware of that when we walk into that practice, there are limitations and restrictions that we need to be aware of and maintain the, the integrity that we we need to have to make sure that we don't go beyond that. Do you hear um, the cat crying? Yeah, I do. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what her deal is. I'm going to go tell her to shut up. Oh, that. no. Don't <laughs> yeah. do that. Um, then that afternoon, the, uh, the, the afternoon with um, everybody, guests and members, we're ending with Colette Carson, Carlson. And it's all about stress. Not that we have stress at all in our lives. But she's she's also very funny and is going to be giving us some very direct tools to be able to manage that stress and to control it so that it's not something that we uh, have to worry about destroying our lives. It's something that we learn to deal with and how to take it in uh, and just run with it. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a fun day. And. After the first day on Tuesday, I'll back up just a little bit. That evening, we're going to have an excursion on a bay cruise. We're going to go on a, a boat that goes uh, to the Golden Gate Bridge um, at sunset. So that's going to be fun. And then at the end on Wednesday, Care Credit, our founding sponsor, is going to be having their cocktail party. And if you've ever been to one of those cocktail parties, you understand that they, they spare no expense. It is Aww. the event to attend it is. Of, yeah, invitations. Who? yeah who's who in dentistry is at that party Ab absolutely um it won't be just the um just the members but a lot of the speakers they invite from the the meeting as well as the meeting planners and the 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 ada um the officials are there too so there again it's a great way to be able to mix and mingle and to learn more about the people that are the movers and shakers in dentistry so great opportunity to be able to do that thank you so much care credit for taking great care of us every year it's wonderful thank you so that in a nutshell is and there's going to be a little surprise at the end we, <laughs> we're going to have some very special guests that are going to be um sharing their consulting skills in a way that you may not have uh, ever experienced before. <laughs> That's cool. So, so it's kind of like you have to stay past the credits at the end of the movie. Yes. Like, stay till the end or you'll miss oh, it. it. This is not to be missed. Oh, that sounds exciting. There's a lot there. And those two days, there's a lot. I just hope careers aren't crushed in the process now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that, Roy. Really, it's just so cool. <laughs> so cool. Uh, exciting. So, so um, we chatted a little bit about how you need to be a member to attend day one, but you could, if you if you're not a member, and you're for whatever reason wanting to wait or maybe wanting to come and like check us out and see what it's all about. If you're going to be in San Francisco anyway, how does that work? We could come as a guest for day two, the the Wednesday. Mm -hmm. It would be right? just you could go to the website and you can register as a guest to be able to come and attend that. Um, awesome. And yes. also need to mention there are regional meetings in addition. Um, and actually, you don't have to be from that particular region to attend. So I'm, I'm not sure how many are scheduled. I know there's one in February at the Ross Institute, the, um, the yeah. Nash Institute. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think there are two more planned. So those are a couple of extra added. And, and those are kind of like unplugged events. I actually mm -hmm. have been to a couple of those and learned so much because it's not it's not formal. It's not. It, it, there is some discussion and some some presentations, but th that's wide open. If you want to stop and ask a question, interrupt and, and interject, it's it's a way of uh, getting to the nitty gritty by asking people who have been doing it longer or in a different area than you have, and you can get 
very great information there as well. So that's a whole other benefit we haven't even talked about, right? Is that not just the annual session, but for, and the, I don't remember exactly the amount of the, of the membership, but I know it's less than a thousand a year for so for 895. So for, so let's call it $900 a year. You can come to the meeting. You can attend these throughout the year, these regional meetings. So you, you're not limited to going to just your region, correct? You can go to any regional meeting. Um, there's Even that. though it's considered regional, they do that. So it's maybe a little bit more convenient for those people who may not want to travel for long distances, but they're not mm -hmm. restricted at all. Mm -hmm. Anybody can come. Perfect. And then we have ongoing educational webinars. We have the Facebook page where members share information, help each other collaborate. I mean, that that's a lot of value for big, not a lot of money. Big bang for the buck. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. One of the best investments I make in myself every single year. It's, I agree. It's, it's essential. So, so for the um, member, uh, the DSA member out here who would be interested in learning more, go to admc.net. And then um, underneath the about tab is a join. I oh, just got that whole about section. It's the second item on the menu. I'm looking at it here about then join is right underneath that. And it gives you all the details. If you have questions on any of this, you can reach out to the organization. I'll put the email up here. Info at admc.net will take you to our executive director, Bonnie Pugh, info at admc.net. And before we wrap up, guys, is there anything we didn't talk about that we should have? Anything you'd like to leave us with? I and mean, I'll give you each a, a chance to give us your, your final thoughts. I would, I would just encourage anybody who is considering it that the value is unbelievable. What you get from it's priceless. Where else can you spend a thousand dollars, less than a thousand dollars, and go to a meeting that you get enough information and enough connection that you can start a business that you can enjoy for the rest of your life? Where else can you do that? Yeah, I agree. Mm. Yeah. I would agree. And um, the theme for these two years is where abundant thinking takes root. And I know you will find so many individuals willing to share. Um, I also believe our sponsoring partners realize that they're going to be at the ADA anyway. They realize the investment made in the two days before uh, allows those of us who would go out and, of course, recommend them. Uh, so we don't have to go around the ADA floor, which I, I'm going to tell you, I can't do any longer. I can't even wear heels any longer. So <laughs> I can have, you know, the sponsoring partners in the room for the two days, two days to engage with uh, is a huge uh, benefit as well. So join us. Um, and uh, I'd add just one more thing. The sponsoring partners I think that's well named. They're, they are partners with us as consultants, and I have great friends who represent these companies. And it's, it's a relationship that is invaluable with your clients. If they have a, an issue with the platform or, or with one of, the, one of the things that they have bought, I know exactly who to call to make sure that that's taken care of and there's no delay, there's no... Um, wait and see. It's it's immediate. So that's invaluable as well. Yeah. I will say I even pulled that card yesterday. It's like, Good oh, you. you can't get through to that person? Oh, I happen I to know how. I think Aww. I can help you. Yeah. Which um, leads me to like my closing thoughts as a member since um, I guess seven years, whatever that be, 2012. <laughs> um, and as a board member, I've, I've just found it's been such a, it's a, something I would not be without my ADMC membership. And I would tell someone who asked me, what's the value? I would say for the dental consultant, it, membership with ADMC really can help you enhance your credibility with your clients because it's a really well-respected group. And it also offers both networking and educational opportunities that I think are just really stellar. So I hope that um, if you're considering membership or want to learn more about attending the meeting, you'll visit the website admc.net where you can learn more about uh, becoming a member and all, all of this. Um, I think you'll be glad you did. And uh, thanks again, both uh, Laura Jamison, our 
current president and Roy Shelburne, a vice president of ADMC. Thank you so much for being here today and sharing your thoughts with us. It's our pleasure. Definitely. And so until next time, uh, be well. And one more reminder for those who are listening and now or listening um, to the replay, please be sure and uh, give us a, a holla and a hashtag ADMC leaders and let us know um, that, uh, that you're a member of ADMC and your thoughts uh, on joining the, the organization as well. All right. Thanks, you guys. Until next time, be well. Good night. Bye.